Okay, so now we have talked, we've had the consultation, we have gone through the proper preparation to make sure you are prepared for the moment that is to go under contract. Uh, but how do we get under contract? First, we have to apply, right? Which is what we just talked about. We've we've reviewed all your documents and we're under contract. So the very first thing, obviously, is executing the contract. You sign it, the real estate agent sets all that up for you. Uh, and then you go and you deposit your earnest money deposit or EMD. And in Texas, we also have this thing called option money, uh, or it kind of covers the inspection period uh, for the first few days or week of the contract. You send that money to the title and escrow company. In Texas, title and escrow is the same thing. In other states, not so much. Uh, sometimes, like California, they have title and escrow. So be careful of every state that you're in. Things are different. That's what we'll cover in the preparation steps. But once you're in contract, you've sent in your earnest money. It's real. Your money's at stake now. We got to get through the inspection. So we send a home inspector out to the house. Um, everything goes well. Hopefully, maybe there's a few things here and there that the real estate agent can help negotiate uh, for you from the inspection report. Maybe you take some money. Um, uh, from the seller as concessions in lieu of the repairs, or maybe you go ahead and get the things prepared and then you uh, verify at closing with a final walkthrough that all the repairs are done correctly and up to standard. Um, once we've done that, if you do get money, we can talk about, hey, how does that affect my cash to close? So part of what we're doing um, on the mortgage side as we approve you is talking to you about two things, two major things, is your monthly payment and your cash to close. Cash to close, is your down payment plus the closing costs. So closing costs are tax, title, insurance, just like when you buy a car. Sometimes there are lender fees. If you're buying down the interest rate, those are called discount points. That would be considered a um, closing cost. And so once we're through that, we have on understanding, maybe you get that little bit extra money from the negotiation process during the inspection period. Well, can we buy the interest rate down further? Or hey, can we use that money to go ahead and reduce our closing costs even more? which is absolutely fine. But also right after that inspection period and right after we go into contract, you're going to be ordering an appraisal. So oftentimes you're going to pay for that appraisal upfront. Sometimes lenders will let you do it at closing, but oftentimes you're going to have to put some skin in the game as the buyer and put it on a credit card, buy it upfront and get the appraisal ordered. And then once that comes back, hopefully good, um, then we, we just keeps rolling and, and everything is being worked for you on the back end. You're probably going to get some calls from us asking for further clarification. Maybe, Hey, we need some old pay stubs because you do make overtime income. Uh, they're going to ask you all sorts of different things, that, but all those questions are coming from the underwriter. And so as a broker, we're making sure we're speaking to them directly and not stressing you out as the buyer. Uh, but all of these things are happening. There's a lot that's going on behind the scenes that you may or may not know about. So having someone who's strong, understands everything about the process and making sure we're being proactive and not reactive. Well, again, we want to do everything up front. It's going to make sure you have a really smooth process. And then finally, you're going to get the closing disclosure. You have to receive that at least three days prior to when you can actually sign on the dotted line and finalize it close and fun on the house. A closing disclosure, oftentimes called the CD, is gonna detail every single little fee. You will oftentimes get this twice. You will get once as an initial CD, that is to start that three-day clock, and then you'll get a final CD once the lender and title have talked. We've reduced all the unnecessary fees that are forced to be uh, disclosed to you early on, and then we'll have that final cash to close number. So minus your deposit money that you've already spent, how much money is left that you have to bring to the closing table? So any questions at all, let me know, but hopefully that gives you a pretty high level overview um, of how the process works. There are quite a few steps, but in those early meetings with myself and your agent, you know, we're going to do everything we can to make sure you don't have any stress during this process. You'll understand that all of this is going on behind the scenes but you won't actually have to do anything. You can make all your plans and arrangements for moving and we'll take care of everything else because we've already done our work. It's like in school on finals weekend, everybody's stressing and it's last minute and we gotta get ready for that test, but we're the ones that are already studied. We've sent in all of our papers already and we're gonna head out early because we're done. So it does not have to be that hard, but there are a lot of things 
that go on behind the scenes during the process of being in contract to buying a home.